So we're having lamb and we're having asparagus. This is everything that you're going to need to, to make this. Okay, things first. Wash your hands. Okay, we're going to take the meat out. And this so we can rinse the meat. Okay, so I'm gonna put this meat in here. So this is lamb. I like lamb from Australia. Yours don't smell as it doesn't smell gamey like the ones from America. I don't know why it smells like that, but. Yeah. Those in it. And stones. Okay, now that we got our meat all nice and washed and stuff, and make sure you washed your um time. Yeah, this is what this is else that I have is time. So get that time on there. It's gonna be good. You will love it. I guarantee it. So with the time you wanna if it's like this, sometimes it comes off by itself, but just go backwards on it. If it if it does that, just leave the whole thing. More flavor. But just pick off the seeds. Backwards. I get those good old seeds in there. So we're gonna do that with all the um all the time. And time actually looks like this. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna add some garlic. Be generous. We are eating food to taste, okay? We're here to enjoy the food, so season your food. Uh, we're gonna add some onion. Uh, we're going to add some slap your mama. Okay. I like my food spicy. And I'm going to go in with the, the Tony Creoles. Just a little bit. It's not c coming out that much. You'll see what I'm going to do in a minute. And some chili flakes. That's all we need. Okay, it's time for the garlic. So we have almost a whole garlic, but this garlic clove is huge. I don't know if it was been cooked by a miracle, but I appreciate it. Hey. But um, we're gonna use this much for the lamb. That's like half of the entirety of it. We're gonna break it in half. I'm gonna use half for the asparagus and I'm gonna use half for the um, lamb. I do. We're gonna just crush this up. If you don't know how to crush um garlic, smash it with your knife. Smash all of it. Then the coating will come off really easy. Super easy. Okay. 
and that's how you take off the car. Right. We're gonna chop these up. We're gonna put that in, in there. We're gonna put that in that bowl. Okay, so now that we got that chopped up, we're gonna bring this together. Put that in there. There's one thing we forgot. I forgot the olive oil. But it's it's good. We still have enough. We just need enough just to get everything coated. To get everything coated. And with everything in the bowl. Because what we're gonna do with this, um, we're gonna, fr we're gonna fry it and then we're gonna um, in it. some flavor. Damn. I normally don't let it marinate since it's like it's 10 or something. Um, no. No. So let it marinate. marinate. I feel like something else in it, but it smells so Oh yeah, I'm missing something. I'm just I just remember what it was. It says that one whole pack, honey. One whole pack. Put her in there and give her a good mix in. Okay, I'm gonna transfer it into a smaller bowl. Okay. Marination. Okay. All of this can be Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Runs with the lid, but I don't trust the lid. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it with some not foil. So we're gonna line this stuff with plastic wrap. First, 
Okay. You don't trust that seal on those utensils or any type of tools. We're gonna this in the fridge. So marinate, marinate this at least for like overnight. Okay, I'm gonna cut up the garlic for the asparagus. So remember to get those the off garlic. Put it over put your knife over the garlic and smash. Once you do that, it'll come off really good. Once you're done doing that, just uh, and make little things. Yeah. Do that to all of them. She go this way to get the strips. Cut it the other way. See, I'll show you. If you like your garlic thick, so then we're going to cut. I'm, I'm kind of debating if I still want it thick cuts or small cuts. Lines. Sometimes I like it thin. Get thin. So I would add some time to it since I have some water, the garlic. Now I'm gonna go I can show you how I do my asparagus. I cook my asparagus. 